Thank you for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like this video, please leave a like and leave me a comment. And if you like a lot of my content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks, guys. All right, we're going to jump right into today's video. And it's going to be about trimming green basilisk nails, claws, whatever you want to call them. I've already done one because, guys, <laughs> these guys, out of all my reptiles, their nails shred me to death. If you have green basilisks or any other heavy arboreal type lizard, um, arboreal, so they're going to want to climb and things like that, if you guys don't know, their nails grow. They grow fast, 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 fast. And they get really sharp, really thin hypodermic tips. You've seen me cut bearded dragons, my uh, Chinese water dragon. I've cut Simba, my Savannah monitors. I cut all those. I, I don't care about cutting any of those. They're so easy. They're so easy. But these guys are the ones that always do the most damage because they're so fast and they just sh they just flail around once you switch their position and they will just... Like Wolverine, just turn you into shish kebab. And uh, I dread cutting their nails. They can grow fast if you have them on a healthy diet, uh, especially when they're growing into adulthood, when they're eating like crazy every day. And they'll just cut you up or they'll get stuck in your skin. And it's a nightmare. Now, I've already done the easier one, which was Yoshi. And now we're going to do Bowser who is the harder one to do because I thought, man, it would be more fun if you guys see me getting shredded and there's a couple cuts right there that are fresh, that just happened. So I'm going to do them on this uh, Tupperware lid because on any type of surface like uh, a towel or something, they can grab in, hold on to it with their nails and slide around and these guys because they're so known to do that, I want a plasticky surface where they won't have a lot of grip and it'll just be better. It'll be less painful. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, you may be wondering how happy is Bowser to be contained right now to be, you know, held for this? Well, if one being is not happy at all, then he's in the negatives because he's very mad. Very mad. Now, let's see... I really want to show you some of these nails before I get into the cutting. Yeah, okay, that's a perfect shot right there. So you see the the fatter part. Let me zoom in. Most excellent. And let's see if I flip this around. You see the fatter part, and then you see that hypodermic tip right there. That all needs to go. It needs to trim up. It's hard being zoomed in, but to about right there is where we need to trim them up. Now, you've seen how I've, do I've done this before, especially with the Chinese water dragon or anything, which is is pretty simple, guys, because him being small, I'm going to use a smaller pair of toenail clippers. I want to make sure that I'm more accurate. I don't want anything big and a short distance to crunch. Um, and if we can get him... Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, ow, ow, God, just shredding me to death. The things I do for... Show my, show my viewers how to do stuff. All right, let's get that to focus. So I'm going to come in. He wants to bite me so bad. So I'm going to come in with the nail clippers, and I'm going to attempt to clip these guys. Okay, he's actually broken a nail on this toe right here, probably because the tip got too thin. And it broke, but not a big deal. All right, so we've kind of looked at everything. Let's get the camera positioned to where I want to do the cutting. Down. Very nice. Get this positioned. Kind of pin his other three legs. And then just the uh, the leg that we're going to, the foot that we're going to work on will be the foot in my fingers here. So I kind of got him pinned. And we're just going to get right to, uh, right to it cutting. So again, hypodermic tips. See if I can zoom in a little bit, move everything back. I'm going to use my finger here, my pointer finger here, to kind of stop his head from just snapping back and biting me. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. 
Come on. Zoom out. There we go. This is a hard video to film, but I'm committed to it at this point. All right, so we've just cut the first nail and I really want to show you guys. See how that tip is gone compared to the one next to it that has that thin point? That's what we're going for. We want to get rid of all of those really thin hypodermic points, especially because, you know, handling the lizard, they just shred you up, but it's also dangerous for them. Now, people will ask, and guys always ask, well, you're doing all this work, and how do they survive in the wild if they don't have this? Well, you know, you do the best for their, their enclosures, but one of the things are, because we feed them, and we provide them with lighting and heat, and all of this, they don't have to scavenge around as much as they would in the wild, turning over rocks or climbing up on dangerous areas or moving around as much, even though you give them enrichment. So, you know, they don't get the same level of exercise, no matter what you do, that they naturally would get in the wild. Okay, he decided to freak out right as I was cutting that. Thankfully, he didn't move. Got that one too. Very good. It's been a bit of a pain. Now, guys, remember, always have cornstarch on hand just in case if you cut the nail a little too deep, which is okay. It doesn't really give them pain. There's a little vein in there that could bleed for a very short amount of time. You just take a little bit of cornstarch. You can even put it on your finger and dab it on there. It clots it and, and everything is fine. Let's try to get a back foot here. Okay. This one, nice and rubbed down. No hypodermic tip. This one, no hypodermic tip. That's great. This one, hypodermic tip that we got to get rid of. Here we go. And it's gone. Now, I've always loved all the joints. I mean, look at these joints. One here. There's a joint right here. There's a joint right there. 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 Look at the bendability of this. I mean, you can take it and form almost a circle with just one thing like that. I just love the, 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 the amount of joints. Now, other than this middle one, his back foot was all good. So we can tell he's probably holding on to things with the fronts. They kind of get clawed and they lock in. And I've seen this in his tank. Oh boy, there's a piece of shed right there. Yeah, let me just go and get that with his mouth like that. So they kind of grab and they claw onto it with their front. And then I see their back feet moving a lot to try to fix their position. And you can see that by his back nails being ground down. Whereas fronts are a little bit more stationary. Yeah, look at those. Look at that. Look at those claws. Those are just, those nails are just going into me. Boom, one gone. Here we go. Reposition this. Now guys, it's also very important when you do this, that you make sure you can see everything that's in the nail clipper because you do not want to nip his finger or that you're cutting the nail on or, you know, another finger. Sometimes they, they move around. If, if you see here, I'm, I'm holding on to the individual finger that I'm doing because I don't want it to move, but I want to make sure that another finger or another nail or his tail or even my finger doesn't get in there. And then the hardest one is always the what I would call the thumb, the innermost claw, because it's the shortest and it bends right at a 90 degree angle right there. We're going to come in. Come here. Oof. We're going to hook it if possible. 
least he hasn't bitten me. It's not a knock on wood, I say that now. Come on, stretch your hand back out. There we go. He's so mad. And he's fighting me with his... To get this last digit here. Alright, let's bring this camera up a little bit so I can come up just a touch. Hi. How are you doing? You got one more... One more claw here. This inside one. And it's got quite a good tip on it. And it is a pain to get to by itself. Come here, stretch out your hand. And then he goes just limp, limp hand on me. Come here. There we go. You guys know, if you have these like really awesome lizards, these green basilisk guys, they run on water. They're really cool. They're just... Man, they get some strong nails. Let's check out this back foot. Remember on his other foot, he only needed one claw to be done. Could we get lucky? Can lightning strike twice? That first one needs to get done. Second one, no. Third one, yes. Fourth one, fifth one. Okay, this is interesting. This is the exact opposite. All but one claw have a tip on them that needs to go. Great. Okay, let's see how you're going to let me do this. We're going to maybe just grab the foot, move the camera again. There we go. Flip these around. And start knocking these out. One. That's the one that's already done. Two. Three. Last one. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Do you think he's a happy camper? Do you think he's a happy camper? No. Not happy at all. So angry. So angry. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go for this little piece of shed on his uh, face there. Let's see if he bites me. Oh my god, now I'm chickening out. I can't do it. Let's, well, let's watch him bite this. That would have been me. Alright guys, take care.